Okay, great. Um, thank you. Um, now that I'm suitably kitted, um, we can uh, have AERC's perspective. I, I have to begin by uh, introducing AERC to those of you who do not know what AERC is about. ARC works as a network. It is the largest network of African economies on the African continent. It, is, um, uh, it works through getting all of these economies networked uh, so that the dissemination and capacity building can be carried out in a much more cost-effective way. Now, um, so why an ARC course on climate change? Uh, I think Al Alisa has pointed out several things uh, to do with um, uh, getting uh, as much uh, information out there to uh, economists as is possible and other practitioners on uh, climate change which could lead to a more equi a, a cost effective way of um, dissemination uh, information. Now, the, the ARC um, is is a collaborative network. Therefore, uh, getting an online course on climate change enhances the collaboration between the researchers uh, that have similar interests. And the, it maximizes the, um, the reach of, um, of the, the center to the rest of the uh, individuals that are spread around a large geographical area. Now, one of the big, biggest problems we have had in uh, policy uh, or, or uh, take up of research results by policymakers is that there is a disconnect between the researchers themselves and the policymakers. But by offering this as an online course, you get uh, part of the uh, technical officers within government and other institutions participating in, in, uh, as, as a group within uh, this training uh, uh, course, and therefore they themselves find it easy to communicate the results to their bosses who then make the final decisions on policy. So it enhances uptake of climate change uh, results in, in, within the policy framework. Uh, presently, there, there are no dedicated materials on climate change uh, in Africa, and in actual fact, in our network, we don't have a course on climate change economics or any related uh, uh, course on, on climate change. Therefore, this um, uh, has worked to develop material uh, in this particular aspect. Of course, there is uh, a need to popularize. I think we had this uh, about this in the morning, that um, there is, in some quarters, uh, skepticism of the results coming out of climate change work. And we need to make sure that um, uh, we conscientize not only researchers, not only economists, but the wider public about climate change issues. And this was found to be the best way to disseminate uh, not only the information, but also uh, the ability to conduct that research within the continent. Uh, uh, this leads to, of course, the last point on uh, building up a research agenda for climate change uh, with, on the continent. Alisa has alluded to, uh, to technology um, and, uh, and technical issues to do with the availability of such communication uh, infrastructure within the continent. And I must say our experience is that uh, we had a, an, an issue from time to time. And um, I think you heard that Alisa alluded to the fact that we had some DVDs made and so on. Uh, we wouldn't need to have done that if we were sure that we can uh, adequately communicate uh, right through the course, uh, through um, uh, online means. So, but there is an issue about the background of the researchers. They come from varied uh, backgrounds, and we needed to find a way in which we could deliver this material uh, to uh, uh, researchers with varied backgrounds. Now, follow through there uh, reflects uh, the need to not only go through the course, but also to find a way in which we can uh, um, bring these uh, experts together in some way, either through uh, some continuing um, discussions after the course or through um, 
you know, um, exchanges with the experts on the course. Uh, but we know that these experts are very busy, so it's an issue that I will also bring out a little bit later on, but it, it was an obstacle to uh, continuing the, work, the research work on uh, climate change. Now, time allocation uh, is really to do with these people who participated on the course are busy uh, with other duties uh, you know, during the day, so it becomes tricky uh, to allocate as much time as is uh, optimum for the, uh, for the, for the course. Um, now, it would be ideal to find a way in which we can bring all of this material into the ARC's program of work. ARC works through uh, bringing uh, researchers together every six months uh, where senior experts will assist different, uh, different researchers at different levels uh, develop their work material. This gives uh, researchers a chance to gain ex expertise that would otherwise take them lo much longer uh, to, uh, to access if they are uh, away from uh, this, this particular framework. We also have a problem to do with the um, fact that capacity across Africa, particularly in economic policy research, is limited. So if, if one of our participants were to take time off, the co uh, time off their day duties to work on the course, it means that uh, you know, their day job suffers because they don't have enough capacity to replace them whilst they are away. So that we found, talking to the participants, that that became an issue. Not because their bosses didn't want them to do, do the course, but because they, there is then a gap that is uh, left uh, when they are busy on the course. Now, the financial uh, aspect is really to do with the fact that a lot of these researchers would like to continue work working on, on, on climate change issues. But because uh, the, there is isn't enough financial resources to go around, just, just to give you an example, we, the, uh, the follow-on call for proposals attracted actually not 120. I know we had caught 120. The per preliminary group was 300. We, we had only enough funds. It's a good thing that Finn is here. <laughs> we had only enough funds to cover 12 pro teams, but we received 300 applications. So it was, it was a huge task, but it also showed that there is a lot of interest. So the fin financing, uh, you know, this, this interest is rather an obstacle to co the, the, continua the continuous uh, research in this area. Then of course, communication. Africa uh, has three main groups, you know, Portuguese speaking groups, French-speaking groups and English-speaking groups. And we were only offering uh, you know, the course in English. So there was some kind of self-selection there. So we would like to reach as many you know, researchers as possible. And, and therefore, we want to try and figure out how we can include the other language groups. Remoteness is an issue. There are some people who are doing this for the first time. They have never taken a course away from the classroom. So, uh, you know, it takes some adjusting to. Um, and so some, some of the participants, not a lot, I should admit, uh, a few pointed out that it's, it's, it's almost like you're playing a computer game. Uh, so you can say whatever or do whatever you like at any point in time. Now, what are the course sessions that we offered? I think Alistair covered most of this. Um, but I, I wanted to point out the fact that we had the last one week session where um, these participants were brought together to meet experts. Uh, and the, that whole list of experts that was listed by Alisa uh, were all brought to one facility where the um, researchers had uh, time to, you know, um, you know, discuss some of the issues that were being raised during the course. So it was, it was very interesting and highly interactive. And um, I, I think if there are any of the researchers that participated in that course they were here, they will tell you that uh, they found it very uh, useful. Most of the um, topics covered during that week were the economics uh, 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 sections. Now, uh, how did we choose the, the participants? Most of the participants were ARC network members. 
uh, who are the IRC network members. Uh, in principle, uh, all of the uh, African researchers that had participated in the um, ARC network uh, work uh, uh, were, were part of the group that was considered. Uh, the backgrounds were varied, as I said before, and uh, these were located in 17 countries across the continent. Um, so we had a, a real uh, assortment of, um, uh, of researchers. Uh, here I list a few uh, issues that I think were important in terms of the assessment of the cost. I think the interest was very high. I think uh, we had uh, probably one of the uh, most enthusiastic group within the, the uh, courses that uh, ARC uh, uh, conducts. Now, I need to point out um, bullet point number uh, four. Uh, which is the fact that climate change work through the, the, the sessions that we held uh, has been included within ARC's uh, uh, work program. And it has already been pointed out, I think, before that uh, either the June or the December uh, continent-wide uh, conference will have a plenary on climate change issues. So I think we... We, we already have made a mark in trying to get climate change on the agenda. Now, uh, I think I need also to point out that because climate change is not on the um, uh, cost list of a lot of the institutions on the continent, there, there, there has been a need uh, to try and develop a course in climate change. And thankfully, we, we are a long way down that road and uh, academics all, uh, who included in the natural resource or environmental economics course have already started using the uh, course material from uh, uh, this course. Now, the success rate, I think uh, two-thirds of the participants completed, and uh, we had a few that did not, and the reasons for dropout were illness, family uh, emergencies, and other work. Uh, remember, I, I talked about this, and that is a big issue. Uh, lastly, some did not complete the uh, coursework and um, had to uh, uh, complete it in the following sessions. We started out thinking that we will have a group of maximum 25 and only one group. We ended up having to run this, uh, uh, this course three times you know, because of the interest. So interest is certainly very, very high and I think uh, there is still need uh, uh, for Finn to, to give us a little bit more <laughs> to try and develop capacity within the continent. Our participants using this material, PhD, um, writing a paper, I need to point out here that um, uh, um, from Monday we're holding a workshop on climate change and we have really exciting uh, work that's coming out uh, from the 12 projects that uh, uh, came out as a spin-off of this work. And obviously, um, a lot of presentations have started uh, being uh, um, given to uh, policymakers and other experts across the continent. Um, key issues for success, quick response time, uh, requiring discussions, feedback and interaction with experts, and engaging <coughs> and high-quality material. That really is something that has uh, uh, caught the eye of the participants. And I, I want to congratulate the, uh, the, the, the um, resource persons on, the, on this course. It, it really was excellent. I think I should uh, now stop there, except just to point out a few issues that we, could, we can do better in the future. Perhaps timing is an issue um, on both sides. Uh, on the uh, expert side, uh, because they are all very, very busy people, and on the student side. Perhaps we could synchronize it with, um, uh, you know, times that are not busy for uh, the participants and also uh, the, the uh, resource persons. Uh, cost material, uh, cost detail. I mean, uh, som it's, sometimes it's very difficult because we have participation from across the continent, what might be important in, in, in Mozambique might not be very important in, in Sierra Leone. So we need to think 
through how we, you know, uh, we, we deal with the detail. Then assessment of courts, there is a big differentiation between courts and there is a need to uh, be careful whether, whether or not we can differentiate the, the, the assessments. Now, follow-up activities. This is where uh, I need to say one thing. We need more funds for research. Um, uh, and we also need uh, more, of the more of conscientization of um, not only policymakers, but the, the society across the sub-region of the importance of this, because we, we see in phenomena that needs uh, addressing across the sub-region. I will stop there um, and uh, think about ways in which to take you know, uh, a similar effort uh, uh, further down the road and see whether we can continue building the capacity for research. Thank you. Mm -hmm.